Welcome to Connect Plus, the first professional wireless security system that can be installed easily any place in the home. This is Chapter 1 of the Alula Instructional Series, outlining the steps required to install the Alula panel. Everything you need to install the Connect Plus panel security system comes standard in the box. This includes the desktop mounting stand, the UL compliant security system, the power supply, an Ethernet cable enabling communications, and an instructional manual. For a period of time, we're also including an Animax door window sensor as well. Please review the manual for additional details on configuring your system. While it's possible to install the Connect Plus on a wall, the recommended installation would use the desktop bracket. You simply insert the Alula panel into the base until it rests securely on the bottom. There's an alignment notch on the backside to ensure proper placement in the base. Adding communications uses the Ethernet cable provided. Plug one end of the cable into the slot on the backside of the Connect Plus and the other end into an open port on the home's router. Apply power by connecting the barrel connector into the slot just under the Ethernet cable and the power supply into an outlet in the home. You can secure that using the outlet cover screw as noted. The Connect Plus system will emit a long beep and the top five LEDs should turn green with the top one blinking indicating AC power. It may take up to 30 seconds for the communication LEDs to come solid green. This is Chapter 2 of the Connect Plus Certification Series outlining how to install expansion cards into the panel. Everything you need to install the Connect Plus security system comes standard in the box, and it's possible to order an Alula system from the factory with all desired option cards installed and tested. This video will cover the process of adding a card into the field based on the needs of a particular installation. To install the option cards, you'll need to remove the cover of the Connect Plus system as shown. Press the button on top of the Connect Plus to release the cover, then lift to loosen the tabs at the bottom of the panel. Place Connect Plus on a flat and secure surface to prepare it for car installation. There are three expansion slots in the Connect Plus. The two larger cards are for cellular and Wi-Fi communications. The third slot is used for translator or Z-Wave communication cards. There are also three or four holes on each card allowing for mounting pegs to be attached. Be sure to remove the backup battery prior to installing any expansion cards. The most common expansion card is a cellular communication device. This should be installed in slot 1, allowing for proper installation of the internal antenna. Be sure to align the four pre-installed mounting pegs into the holes on each corner and the communication pins with the mainboard connector as shown. Press firmly and evenly over each of the corner posts until it snaps securely into place. Put the antenna into the holding slot located near the sounder of the Connect Plus system. Wi-Fi and Z-Wave cards have built-in antennas and don't require this extra step. The Z-Wave and Translator cards are connected in slot 3 near the Connect Plus battery. Align the three mounting pegs into the holes in the corner and ensure the pins on the main board align with the connector on the expansion card. Press firmly and evenly until the card snaps into place. Once all expansion cards have been added, you can reconnect the backup battery and power the Connect Plus system to verify proper operations. You should see LEDs on the expansion cards illuminate confirming power and communications are available. Once confirmed, you can replace the cover of the Connect Plus and complete the installation of all other sensors and peripheral devices. This is Chapter 3 of the Connect Plus Certification Series outlining how to enroll and operate the Connect Plus graphical keypad. Everything you need to install the Connect Plus security panel comes standard in the box. The Connect Plus utilizes a Bluetooth low energy radio link to communicate with the Connect Plus system and can typically operate from over 100 feet away from the panel. To enroll the touchpad to Connect Plus, you first have to place the Connect Plus into enroll mode by holding the button near the top of the Connect Plus system for about 3 seconds. You will know the Connect Plus is ready to listen for new devices when the arming LED noted blinks red. You'll have about 5 seconds available to enroll devices before the Connect Plus enrollment window ends. Simply press and hold the menu button on the Connect Plus until you see the enroll question mark message. Then press the check to confirm the procedure. The keypad will negotiate a secure and encrypted link with the Connect Plus, then issue a confirmation message noting it found an appropriate system. Press the menu button twice to exit enroll mode on the keypad. Then press the enroll button on the Connect Plus to have it exit listen mode. The LED will turn to its normal green state when this is completed successfully. To arm the Connect Plus system to stay mode, you simply press and hold the symbol to the left of the zero key. 
the arming delay screen will stay illuminated until the arming session is complete and is followed by the arm stay indicator. Disarming the system is accomplished by simply entering a valid user code that's been configured into the Connect Plus system. Arming to away mode follows a similar procedure, but is started by pressing the away symbol to the right of the zero key. There are several other features that can be configured into the Connect Plus device. To view or change the settings, simply press the check key. The options menu will appear from the right of the screen. The features include from top to bottom, silent arming, instant arming, night arming, and chime mode. Chime is a global setting and any changes will be reflected on all enrolled Connect Plus devices. The other options are retained locally for that Connect Plus operation, only allowing each arming system to operate as desired based on location. You can move through the menu of options using the up and down keys as shown and toggle the settings on any feature by pressing the check key. A subsequent press of the check key will toggle it to the inverted state once again. Advanced installer features can be accessed by pressing and holding the menu key for three seconds. This option allows for changing advanced features including keypad sensitivity, changing the key press sounds, or changing the enrollment status of the Connect Plus. Additional options may appear in future releases of the product. The battery on the keypad will last more than one year with typical operation. Replacing the batteries is easy. Simply pull at the tab at the bottom of the keypad firmly. The cover of the keypad will be removed from the mounting plate exposing two AAA batteries. To place the keypad, hook towards the top of the mounting plate and press firmly until it snaps into place. The Connect Plus security and automation platform can support a wide range of peripheral devices. In this video, we're going to outline installing and configuring an RE616 remote siren to a Connect Plus system. Unlike the siren's resolution builds for other panels, the Connect Plus system comes with a built-in transmitter supporting one or more sirens on every installation. Every siren can be configured to provide chime and status beeps if desired, and all will enunciate alarm conditions generated by the Connect Plus. The siren can be installed into any standard 120 volt outlet and secured with a screw at the top. As you open the battery compartment, there are several features that will come into play on operating the siren. There's two LEDs that will show siren and system status. There's a dip switch that allows you to configure the siren for chime entry and exit delay beeps. There's a tamper spring and a battery tab that allows the siren to be enrolled into a panel. To do the enrollment, you first must put the panel into enroll mode. Remove the battery tab and it will go through a series of LED flashes indicating that it's enrolling with the panel. If you wish, you can switch dip switch number two to either turn on or off the chime and entry exit beep feedback from the remote siren. The amber LED indicates that it has lost power or there's another trouble condition on the siren. Once this is enrolled or plugged into an outlet, that LED should turn to a solid blue as shown here. Again, you can secure the siren to an outlet by putting the outlet cover screw through the tab at the top of the siren. The siren will enunciate all chime conditions if configured properly Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.